three, two, one. Hello YouTube, this is Cody with Search My Deck TCG, bringing you an exciting Mewtwo and Mew partner, power partnership tins, uh, I believe it's the official name, um, but yeah, the Mewtwo and Mew tins just came out, being a promo on the Mewtwo and Mew GX, one of the most expensive tag teams um, at the moment, if not the most expensive, so gonna make the price come down. My first time actually getting my hands on any Mewtwo Mew. I knew that I wanted to get these tins, so I was just holding out. So we got them. And we're going to have some fun opening them together. This has been a fun weekend of Hidden Fates and Partnership Tins and Pokeballs. A bunch of different products to get this weekend. So hopefully you got everything you wanted to get. Or saving your money for later. If you want the Hidden Fates tins, those may be a little hard to get later in the Mewtwo tins, but everything else should be affordable. We have our friend Charizard today. Um, I, for some reason, did not grab him for the Charizard tin. I had my mind on Gyarados, and then I just grabbed Ivysaur, so we're going to bring him out because we missed the opportunity to bring him out last time. Um, as far as the webcam goes, I've been having a lot of trouble with the program crashing. So I'm probably going to, I'm still going to try to run it. I am, if you notice, um, a lack of focus on it. I'm also just going to focus on the main screen in case that goes away again. I don't want a bunch of awkward pauses. So webcam here to get my smiling face and fun expressions. But we're going to be really just trying to focus on the front camera until we can get a more reliable uh, webcam program. So. Let's get into some partner power ship tins. Beautiful tins. I love these tins way more than the standard tins. They mean that they did. My GX counter got all twisted. On the metal GX counter, I have a special made GX counter that I like. I'll show off sometime with Sawaddle and Swadloon on it. But if you don't have a good GX counter, or um, any GX counter, or if you have just have the ones from from like the um, theme decks, these are really good. With solid metal, good, just pr pretty. Got the tag team logo, fantastic. I'm sure you've seen these by now, but if you haven't, that's a really good reason if you want to start off with buying some product for a newer player. Um, at getting partner power ship tin, or there's also the Pikachu and Zekrom tins. If you can still get a hold of those, I see those occasionally. Those are really good to have because they have a great promo, and they have the. Come on, if this wants to come out. And they have the GX counter, so it's a good, good starting tool. And there is the promo of the day. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And we crashed. All right, Ooh, we crashed. All right, and we are back live signature um, issues looks like sorry if I, did, I moved stuff around before I started filming again so it's a little janky um, let's get back into it though so we got our perfection Mewtwo Mew tag team it won worlds um, very cool cards I was being excited about this card as soon as it was announced been playtesting it heavily um, so I'm excited to actually turn it into an actual deck to have some fun with it and expand it and standard it's a really cool card being able to copy any attack of any GX or EX in your discard pile or on your bench it's going to be interesting to see how people play it with expanded with maybe bring back some old megas or of this and such so that's the card it's grumpy Mewtwo with baby happy Mew in the background Ooh. We are yawning. It's a long day. But we're going to have some fun with it. So here's our four packs from this tin. I think these tins are much bigger than the tag team. They're not the tag team. Hidden Fates tins. So we'll keep one. How does it look? Keep one up there. Put the packs there. Break open the second one. Now the Perfection promo. Didn't want to get any of the others because the, the 
Oh, I do like some of the art. Um, just these are, 20, these are twenty-five dollars, um, so it's not a whole lot of reason to get the other two. The card. And if you really want the art, you can buy it. Uh, the single of it. The cards themselves. Maybe the Geo Tin Tin. If you do want a tin, you know, I can get your hands on one. I think the Pichu Mew is the best way to go. It's the best of the three cards. Giratina is, Giratina is definitely not bad. Yeah, um, it's an affordable in Malamar decks. But just with the GX counter, with the good promo, as well as the codes that come with it. I'm not going to show the codes, but these codes. Um, they, I don't know, um, for these, other ones doing team up. Gave you two, that, that code there gave you two of the card online. I believe it's probably going to be the same. Um, either way, you should at least be getting one of the promo, if not two. Which is a really good way to get these cards to start playing online as well. So all in all, really wonderful package. Nice big tins. Cool GX counter. Solid promos. And packs. These are all going to be. We got two Unified Minds, one Evolutions, one Lost Thunder. And from here we also have two Unified Minds, one Lost Thunder, and one Evolutions. Let's jump right into it. We'll leave the Unified Minds for the end. We'll get the Lost Thunder out of the way. Got some cat hair on the mat. I'm playing around with different mats. I like the Pokeball, the Ultra Ball. It's nice and clean looking. So, Evolutions. I think maybe the Mega Treasured. As far as we're talking about actual money cards, as far as cards for collection. I don't know the pack trick, so we're just going to... I don't remember the XY pack trick. I don't want to embarrass myself, so we will just break open from the front. Evolutions was an interesting set, and Mewtwo's are rare. Got a little bit of play back in the Buzzwall days. Pretty solid Buzzwall counter. Sure, we'll, we'll break these out for now. Do another little pile. But Evolutions was an interesting set, reprinting original cards from the base set. Not with any of the monetary value, but still kind of a cool concept, even though all those cards did not age well. Not all of them were very good to see really any play. I think maybe the best played one was the Mewtwo. Just because it was able to counter Buzzwall so easy and go into any DCE deck. It's very splashable, and Beedrills are rare there. So nothing too exciting the Switch. I do love the Switch art. It is the art I use for most of my Switches. So that'll be good. I could always use more Switch. It's a car that's prominent. So there's our pulls there. I always thought they were going to do um, the Evolutions again with maybe some second generation stuff. But it does not seem to be the case. Maybe at some point. But probably not right now. And now we're just going to be focusing on Sword and Shield cards going forward. We have our Sword and Shield pin collections coming out um, when the game comes out, which is super exciting. Um, I don't, might get one. To, they aren't going to offer a whole lot, except for, except for cute um, promos and cute pins. That was not the energy. Whoops. Talk, can't, can't talk and... Um, can't talk in Patrick apparently. So let's see where our rare. There's a hollow in the middle. So where is our rare? Somewhere. Shaman. There's our rare. There's the energy. Whoopsies. So Shaman was a seven dollar card at one point. I haven't followed on what she's at now. Um, back, that was back when Venusaur and Celebi was a bit of a thing. I know a little bit of Shaman gets played sometimes in the Lolan Eggs, but not as big. I think that's the same for was, so maybe the card is so valuable. Maybe not. Alright, let's try it right this time. Let's see if that is our energy. That is our energy. We did it. We figured it out after a thousand packs. I don't know how many packs have opened at this point. More than I want to really think about. So this is Lost Thunder, if I did not make it clear. Uh, I guess the uh, packaging makes it clear. We like a Bocephalon. I have never pulled a single Bocephalon yet. Um, and there's our Hollow and there's White Kyrum. Pretty cool looking art, but nothing on the exciting end. 
So still the trail of noble cephalons continues. Never card I've never pulled and never bought. Even though I usually buy a lot of cards to play a lot of different decks. That was one that was always just kind of expensive and never something I was super interested in playing. So at some point, maybe I'll pick up some Bocephalons, but right now, there's other things to play. There's a lot of things to play. It's a very good um, deck, though. I think it's still one, one of the best. We did get second at Worlds, and it continues to excel. So here's some Unified Minds. We just got some Mewtwo, so it would be kind of embarrassing if we pulled one here, but... We will not complain, especially if it's a rainbow. Anything is good. All cards are created equal except Yveltal as our rare. Alright, are these double tens just going to be double nothing for me? Single hit and eight packs. You average one out of six, so it's possible. Would be a little depressing. But I believe in Unified Minds. Actually, I don't. So that's been kind of awful to me. I do not have a lot of sweet pulls. I had to buy most of my singles, which is the best way to do it. However, since I've been buying so many packs, it's not the best way to do it. But now, I am doing a YouTube channel so I can excuse buying packs because it's not for me, it's for the content. So, and for this content, we're going to get a super sweet Spandioxus. That's a card. It is better than your Veltel, that's for sure, but we've gotten a couple of these. So add one to the pile. It's good in Psychic Malamar. I was getting a little bit of play in some expanded ver ver uh, variants. Um, I believe we also get some play in just a straight up Mewtwo variant. So it's not a terrible card by any means, but it's not what we were exactly hoping to see. But it's a card, it's shiny. Um, I do like Espeon, Deoxys, not so much. Alright, we'll just finish out with the pack trick. We already started. At some point, I'll stop doing the pack trick, but we only have so many packs, and opening packs is fun. Just blitzing through them, opening, you know, I could, I could do these tens in two minutes, but that's not how I like doing my cards. I like savoring it, I like slow rolling it, even though I've seen most of these cards. I own most of these cards, except the rares. And Heatran. Hey, we'll take it. We're, we're getting some hits now. Heatran is a wonderful card, one of my favorite legendaries of all time. Um, Latios is number one. Probably Dark Rise up there, and so Heatran is second or third. Alright, and last pack. So, two GXs out of two, eight packs. It's one out of four, that's okay. No. Cherish Ball, no reset stamp, no really valuable cards, and even the GXs aren't super fantastic, but I really like Heatran. I liked him before. I was really confused why a lot of people weren't playing him or hyping him as a support Pokemon in any fire deck. Um, that changed when I believe every single of the top four Worlds decks and Masters, all the fire decks, um, don't quote me entirely, but I believe all four had a one of Heatran. It's fantastic supporting Pokemon, uh, attacker, and not only just a cool Pokemon, but just, just actually useful. Again, it's not just a supporter, it's not any useful on its own, but as a one of supporter, it's fantastic. One of, one, bleh, English is hard. As a one of a, a secondary attacker, it's fantastic. And it's pretty. All right, and for, let's finish this off. My Heatran Ramble is over, and let's see our shiny last thing of the day, last rare, send us off right with a, a Dragonite. So, not the three most valuable cards, but three hits, three cool shiny hits to end off our tens. The main reason why we got this though was for those codes and the promos themselves. So that was almost, at least at the moment, I'm sure Me Too has dropped. I haven't looked. I'm sure as of today it's dropped. So that makes... But even still, I think these tens are still worth it at the moment for the Mewtwo card. It's a very valuable card. We got a couple of decent hits out of it. Some pretty Mewtwo's we will try to get some use out of. We would not try it. We definitely will. Well, um, we'll have to fix the magic of editing to kind of pick up that drop. 
I hope you guys had fun. I definitely had fun. Thank you for opening packs with me. This is Cody from Search My Deck TCG. Signing out. Have a great night.